Greetings to all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Friday celebration service. What a joy to join our hearts and worship this awesome and mighty God who is in control of everything, isn't it? May the love and the joy and the peace of Christ dwell in your hearts and your homes. Let's bow down in prayer. Gracious Abba Father, we adore you and Lord we bow down to you Father because you are God Almighty, you are El Shaddai. You are the Most High God and we adore you Lord God. Lord Jesus, you are the Lamb on the throne and you are seated high and you give us the ability to conquer things Lord. We just be enthroned in our praises, Abba Father. Be enthroned in our praises, Lord Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit, come with fire and might and move in our midst. Take control of the entire service and we surrender our lives to you. In Jesus' name I pray. I'd like to read a passage from Psalms 95, verse 1 to 3. It says, Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and let us shout joyfully with Psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. And I love this last sentence that says, He is a mighty King above all gods. Amen. A small word of encouragement to those who are going through challenging times and you feel pressed down. I just want to tell you, my dear brother and sister, don't mute your praise. Don't hang your instruments of worship to a willow tree because that is what the enemy wants you to do. But instead, let faith arise by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lift your voices and give praises to the Lord because when you praise Him, God inhabits your praises and the enemy is scattered. That's where your victory is. When you praise Him, you are surrounded by a host of angels and nothing is impossible with God because He will throw the ambitions and the enemy will be confounded and scattered and destroyed. Praise your way to your breakthrough, dear brother and sister. It was the shouts of praises that broke down the walls of Jericho. It was Paul and Silas at the midnight hour who decided to worship and praise the Lord. And that's when the foundations of the prison broke and the prison doors flung open and the chains were released and they were set free. So let us be a praising generation. Amen.
feel betrayed or lonely, know that there is a friend in Jesus who never leaves you nor forsakes you. He was betrayed by a kiss, but he laid down his life for us. That's the friend you find in Jesus. Those who look at him are radiant. They will never be ashamed. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from every fear those who look on him are radiant they'll never be ashamed they'll never be ashamed this poor man cried the Lord heard me and saved me from my enemies. The Son of God surrounds His saints. He will deliver them. He will deliver them. Magnify.
Welcome to our Saving Grace family. Thank you for joining with us for our Friday celebration service. We hope you enjoyed worshipping Jesus with us. If you are joining us online for the first time, we would love to get in touch with you. Kindly fill in your details on our connect form that is available on our website, our team will reach you and pray for you. Anyone requiring prayer support can submit your request on our website. Our intercessory team will pray for your needs. You can also send in your testimonies. Your story will be an inspiration to many. Stay connected during the week through our various growth groups, nearest to your community. Contact us for more information on the schedules. For more information, visit our website, or find us on our social media platforms. You can also reach us on our official WhatsApp number, plus 971-582-2984. Good morning, praise the Lord Church. The worship was so powerful because worship sets the atmosphere. Worship leads us to focus on Lord. It, it takes us out of all our attention, which can be on this, which can be on that. And it brings us at the feet of our Lord Jesus. I want to bless the worship team. Thank you, worship team. Thank you for making a way for us so that we could worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for this powerful time, O oh Lord, Father. I pray and I declare that entire families, Lord, individuals will connect today to hear what you have to say, O oh Lord, Father. I declare, Holy Spirit, that you would touch each and every heart. Holy Spirit, teach us to walk the way Jesus walked, the way Jesus talked, the way Jesus taught. Help us today to receive from the throne room of grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's do a Bible confession, church. Hold our Bibles. This is my Bible. What God is, the Word of God is. What God can do, the Word of God can do. God cannot lie. The Word of God cannot lie. The Word of God is the will of God. The Word of God is the voice of God. The Word of God produces faith in my heart. The Word of God produces hope in my mind. Today, I boldly declare Jesus is the Lord of my life. Therefore, I am what the Bible says, that's what I am. I have what the Bible says that I can have. I can do what the Bible says that I can do. Holy Spirit, help me and speak to me. I choose to receive God's word as bread for today and as seed for my tomorrow. I will never be the same again. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Wow. That was a powerful confession that each one of us have made. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So today, the title of my message is, Make Your Choice. You know, you have been given authority to decide what you want. You have been given authority to decide what you would like to see, what you would like to have. Today, God is going to change everything. The way you think, the way you see things, the way you speak. May God change your perception because we serve a big God. A God who does signs, wonders and miracles in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our God is a good, good God. Hallelujah. Everyone, I'm sure, 
I know was ready to turn the page of 2020 and enter 2021, right? But I want you to know that the human, human nature can surface in the toughest of times. Amen. For some, the interruption of pandemic became an introduction to something amazing, something beyond your imagination. So the Lord is doing something in our routine. God wants to reveal His secrets. God wants to reveal His love in situation that we are facing as challenges. So how powerful, how powerful it is. Today, you are the one who is going to decide, define and declare, hallelujah. My recent experience, you know, a few days back, I we have a huge long windows in our bedroom. So before sleeping, I opened the curtain. I said, Lord, I want to see the moon. I want to see the stars. And where I sleep, I get a full glimpse of heaven. But there was a hindrance. We have a hotel called Elite. And indeed, it's completely lit up. And even the name Elite is seen, you know, very, very uh, prominently. So I said, I wish these lights go off so that I can see the sky clearly. And I looked at it, it did not happen. There was no moon and the lights of Elite were shining. In the middle of the night, you know, something woke me up and I looked from the window in my deep sleep and I saw the moon there and I saw the lights of the hotel switched off. Can you believe this? And I knew that God is speaking to me. And this message, I started writing it at that particular moment. God gave me this word today. You and me, if you declare, if you decide, if you define, God is able to do it. It is so easy. Let me tell you, it's, it's like a, you know, a catalog given to you and you decide what you want. Do you know that the stars are mentioned in the catalog? There's a catalog where the, the stars names, the numbers are given and how do they function? Things are written about them. It's the same way. I want to tell you today that whatever that you decide, whatever that you define, whatever that you declare, you will see it happening. You won't be ignorant. Let's look at another scripture. It says in Hosea chapter 11 and verse 3, it states, I thought Ephraim also to go, taking them by their arms, but they knew not that I healed them. Saints of God, Ephraim was taught and did not even know that he was healed. Today, our attempt is to learn through scriptures that you should know deep within your heart that you are healed, that every need in your life would be met by our heavenly father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we see Bible declares that the work was already done 2000 years back. How can you be ignorant? How can I be ignorant like Ephraim? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what the Holy Spirit is telling me to someone here who is listening, who is hearing my, my voice, who is watching me right now and you are on that sick bed. And this is exactly what you have been told by the Holy Spirit that fear not. Fear not, Bible says, and the Lord said unto him, Peace be unto thee, fear not, for thou sh shall not die. The doctors must have told you there is no hope. Remember, there is hope with God. God says, fear not. Look at your screen there. He says to you, he declares to you, fear not, thou shall not die. The plague that has struck your life will not remain, but will live right now in the name of Jesus. I declare your heal. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to look at Hannah. Hannah 
stood against the giants that tried to take her inheritance and she expelled them how we go to look at the scripture but before we look at the scripture this woman was completely disheartened because of her enemies taunts she had to face these people every day of her life she had to put her face down and walk in front of them today you might be going through such situation you are facing those people who look down upon you who think that you're good for nothing who think they're more smarter who think that they're more better and lord is speaking to you rise up just follow what hannah did let's look at the scripture wow in 1 samuel chapter 1 was 16 and 18 we find here the story of Hannah and her prayer for a child she cried to the lord she was crying pouring her worship pouring her request telling the lord the desire of her heart and what do we see here the the priest comes and speaks to her and he feels that she's drunk he feels she's not praying she's doing something else there and in this world of me too <laughs> you know hannah is not offended she is not offended here we see don't think i am a wicked woman hannah says for i have been praying out of great anguish and sorrow what does the pastor says there he says in that case go in peace may the god of israel grant the request you have asked of him oh thank you sir look at her response look at the connection that she is making with her words and she says further that the bible declares it that she went back and began to eat again and she was no longer sad hallelujah hallelujah she saw the favor of god she received that favor when her pastor told her that you're going to walk in victory she received it and what happened her countenance changed she was no more sad so she made a connection between thoughts and that change brought a transformation i have declared that you will walk in miracles can you connect to what i am speaking through the word of god that you will not die that you will not live in lack but you will live in overflowing in abundance because my jesus your jesus says that hallelujah rikhava shende ninarava and you see here that she returned back to the house of god again and the miracle that god did it in her life she gave it back to god transformation only transformation can change us if you are sad you need to come out of that sadness there cannot be any depression in your heart i command and i approve those negative thoughts right now in the name of jesus and i speak healing to your heart healing to your heart that no more hana saw those people who were looking down upon her but she remembered the words of her pastor and she walked in it victoriously this is what the connection holy spirit is wanting to bring in your life that you may not live in sadness you may not live in sickness but how can that connection be done when you receive the word of god and you believe that word of god is able to transform you so today you decide make your will known decide it define it and declare it for the glory of god hallelujah let's look at the power of the mind and our thoughts you're going to learn something amazing you i want you to go through the scripture read it it's on the screen there deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 look at this our minds are powerful and our thoughts can shape you and me what we want to become today i have given you the bible says the choice between life and death between blessings and curses now i call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make do you know this 
that the choice has been given to you and me. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. You can make a difference, not only in your life. I can make a difference in my children's children's life. I can make a difference in the generations to come. Amen. So today choose, today choose. I never knew. For years, this verse has haunted me. I did not believe life, particularly when it comes to choosing love, joy, peace, etc. These are choices. We need to choose it because when you choose it, the heaven and earth works towards it to bring it in your life. Hallelujah. I always thought that circumstances played a vital role. No, it's your choice. If you choose, heaven and earth is a witness. Hallelujah. What does God want? God wants that you will live. God wants that you will prosper. God wants that you will have perfect health. God wants you to choose it. Choose it. Don't depend. By default, it's going to happen. You you need to choose it. You need to choose it. You need to declare it. You need to define it. You need to decide it today. It's your choice. Hallelujah. God has given us, you know, the ability to choose. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? What, what you can choose? What you want to be. What you can choose? What you want to do. What you can choose? What you want to have in your life. God serves man. You know, God serves man. That is so powerful. When man serves God with definite request, you cannot be confused. You cannot be confused. You need to have clarity of the choice that you have made. Amen. God says that you command me, command you me. You don't believe it? I want you to look at the scripture, very powerful scripture coming on your screen from Isaiah chapter 45 and verses 11 and 12. Thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his maker, ask me of the things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. Command you me. What are the works of the way he created? Anything to do with the creation, anything that you need here on the earth, anything that you desire, come on, that today, 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 you command it says there, I made the earth and created man upon it. I even, even my hands have stretched out the heavens and all their host have I commanded. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It says there, Command you me. I'm not saying it. The Bible says it. We read there. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the riches and the glory, the power that works in us through Christ Jesus. So decide. You know, some people have problem in deciding what they want and that's why they never get anything. Faith goals, write it down for 2021. What do you want to see in your life and it will shape up. Hallelujah. Let's, let's choose what the men of God has chosen. Let's look at the life of Caleb. Caleb was inspired by the word of God. Hallelujah. What did he do? He took the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. This is the problem with human mind. They want to see everything on their screen. Then they will decide whether I'll take this or I'll take that. No, 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 no. You have to take the first step. And what is that first step? Decide. Then what is? Define. Then what do you do? Simple. Declare it for the glory of God. Remember that you are a magnet. You know, there is a law of attraction which is working, whether you know it or you don't know it. Hallelujah. You have to have a clear mind of what you want. Hallelujah. The more you practice, you know, it is so easy. The more you practice, you will see that you will flow so beautifully. So start practicing. This is a beautiful year. Start believing for great and mighty things. Hallelujah. As you attract, 
things will come and fall in your lap. Things will come and stand in your way. Things will just stand at your door. You just have to need to open the door. God is opening supernatural doors. This is what the word had come today at the beginning of this year. So I want you to read right now on your screen. Joshua chapter 14 verses 10 to 12. Now, as you can see, Caleb saying, listen to the word of Caleb. The Lord has kept me alive and well as he promised for all these 45 years since Moses made this promise. Even while Israel wandered in the wilderness. Today I am 85 years old. Now listen to his declaration. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey. And I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. So give me the hill country that the Lord promised me. You will remember that as scouts, we found the descendants of Anak living there in great walled towns. But if the Lord is with me, I will drive them out of the land just as the Lord said. Caleb said, what is his declaration? I'm as strong now as when I was young. Why? Because he too had the word of God in his life like Hannah. He took hold of that word. He kept thinking about it. He made a connection and there came a transformation. There were many people who died. But Caleb had a marvelous testimony. He enjoyed good health. You know, Caleb that time declared, let's go now and defeat our enemies. He said that they are like bread because he knew that you know, his, his wife or his mother did not spend time kneading the dough, but the mana was sent so easily and they just had to pick up and eat it. That's what God was speaking. It is that easy for you. Hallelujah. And sometimes these easy things doesn't get registered between our two years, between you know, what, what God is speaking and what God is about to do. Today, today, remember Caleb, declared it and he took the mountains. Caleb decided that today he is not going to sit quietly. He made his declaration. Would you be declaring today at the end of the service? I want you to decide. I want you to declare. I want you to define what you want to see in your life, in your spouse's life, in your children's life. Church, it's time to rise up. It's time to have clear vision. What you want to do, what you want to see, what you want to have in 2021. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when we believe in what God is saying, we can rise above uh, all, all, the, all the challenges that we face. Challenges of fear, challenges of, of, of lack, challenges of, uh, you know, so many things, the chaos that is happening around us. Caleb was inspired by the word of God and he was not afraid. He said, I am ready to take those mountains that no one wants to take it. I am ready to take it. That time it was my declaration. And now also after 45 years, you know, amazing, amazing. You know, so many of us. Oh, now, you know, I have become old. My knees have started paining. I am aging. The minute you think of this, let me tell you, those wrinkles will come. That arthritis will come. That, that pain will start in your back. Refuse it. Look at this man. He refused to be like the others who, who did not believe God, who brought a bad report. He had a good report because his life was inspired by what God spoke. Amen. What is your life inspired by that newspaper or that, that news channel? No. It has to be the word of God because the word of God is able to transform our minds. That's what you declared by holding the word of God. Let's look at what Paul says. Beautiful. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, what does he say? Do not copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. 
wow then you will learn to know god's will for you which is good and pleasing and perfect you know when god says that i have a good plan for you you know what does it mean that when you are born and till you finish your journey on the earth whatever that you need i have already provided you it's already hanging there out in this universe it's only that you need to decide i want this i want to see the moon i said and god showed me the moon of course my heart is bound by god you know the glory of god my heart is not attracted to the moon but i wanted to see it god showed me i wanted the lights of god showed it to me it is so easy to receive your many miracles which you have kept it on hold it's only in your hand rise up rise up my brothers and sisters and stop being sad stop being discouraged stop living in fear but rise up in faith right now. now in the name of Jesus because bible says that i have not given you a spirit of fear and timidity oh, you are afraid then you better change your mind you should not be afraid but of power love and self discipline discipline yourself i'm not going to allow one single negative thoughts to come to in my mind and if anyone says anything negative i'm going to stop that person because i don't want to dwell how caleb how hana how the mighty men of god you know david did not bother to hear what his brothers were saying what the others were talking what the king was declaring he had decided he defined that that god saved me like this and he declared today is the end of that enemy who is bragging with pride you know anyone who stands you have the authority to overcome every giant call forth caleb <laughs> he declared give me give me the best what is your best have you decided it's a house it's a car it's a job it's that life partner that you had been waiting we had been praying call forth you need to decide you need to define it and you need to declare it amen hallelujah i like i like psalms 23 i want you to know you know don't by heart that psalm you know like like how it was taught to me also religiously one of the thing is to speak psalms 23 but have you ever believed it psalms 23 you know you need to accept the idea of prosperity because there is no lack what does king david says oh beautiful 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 he says that my cup runs over you know it is it is not you might i'm not saying that don't work hard you know but that working hard day and night is not going to bring you prosperity and victory but it is deciding it is defining it is declaring god is able to open the door he did it in my life i came from lack but i believed that psalms 23 and i believed that it is possible that i can receive my miracle hallelujah hallelujah i want you to know here today that god has overflowing abundance blessings kept for you it's already there it's all hanging there you need to call forth you need to declare it you need to speak it out don't sing the same song which the other people are singing no you are different i am different i am a child of god hallelujah now let's look at a man who feared and you all must be knowing this and that is none other than job job feared a thing now i'm i'm just repeating myself you know you can be morally straight you know you can be i'm not looked at a woman i'm not done this i'm not done that you know you can be very clear <laughs> but yet you can be mentally crooked because here he feared a thing he feared a thing now what does your we see there the thing i greatly feared has come upon me the sphere became a magnet and it pulled out every possible destruction that job can go through 
because when he sacrificed he sacrificed in fear he did everything in fear so you worship the lord fearing you worship the lord you pray fearing you do everything you serve the lord fearing that i i might lose my job i might you know fall sick and if you are going to fear you know i i jo fear to thing it bible says the thing i greatly feared i don't know what is that thing and job himself did not know that thing and that thing that he feared it came to pass it came upon him today don't let those thoughts become real because those thoughts are having life it can come into existence so if you are afraid of something that is around you you are dragging that dirt you are dragging those things in your life and empowering it bringing it to to life those things which is not needed everything jo feared it came upon him so today we need to know that we are a child of god you are a child of god i am a child of god you need to believe this you need to have this knowledge you need to know that you have a living god who never sleeps he loves you and he has best plan for you plan for 2021 is excellent amazing for you hallelujah and that's why jesus beautiful Jesus challenged people to change their thinking. Now changing the way you think changes your perspective which challenges, you know, can any any anything that is standing against you. It will challenge those things and those things will move out of your life. Let's look at Matthew chapter 4 and 17. It says this was the first sermon that Jesus preached repent 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 of your sin and turn to God for the kingdom of heaven is near today i'm giving you an opportunity if you have done all wrong thinking then you have sinned if you have been anxious you have sinned bible says that worrying is sin so i want you to lift your hands up both Lord I pray Lord Father for everyone who has lifted their hand oh Lord Father they have surrendered their life oh Lord today no more thoughts of fear would dwell in their mind but their mind would make a connection with the way they behave oh Lord let faith arise oh Lord and bring things in their life that they are waiting for I pray and I declare over each one of them today Lord Father they are delivered from the thing of fear a lot i pray and i declare a lot in this week lord people will write down faith visions a lot they will write down faith goals a lot they will declare it a lot father and they'll see it in their life in the name of jesus every spirit a lot of disturbances a lot lack a lot i bind and cast it out from their life in the name of jesus everyone who has not received jesus christ as their personal savior today i pray and i declare that they will receive jesus in their life right here right now if you have never received jesus christ touch that button and lift your hand and say with me lord i come to you as i am i repent of all my sins and i receive you as my personal savior today i believe it in my heart and i declare it with my mouth that you died for my sins you were buried you rose up again and today you're seated at the right hand of father and you are coming very soon to take me today i welcome you jesus in my life today i welcome you holy spirit in my life i surrender my life and i never look behind because you are leading me to my heavenly father you are making a way in jesus name i pray amen lord i bless all those who have received today those who have confessed to oh lord that they are sinners those who have received you as their personal savior i pray and i declare signs wonders and miracles in their life because they carry your presence in the name of jesus so we see here you know when jesus challenged 
He challenged cultural attitudes and he was hanging out with outcasts. You know, Bible says that he ate with the sinners, with the tax collectors, and he constantly spoke to them. He constantly knew what they were thinking and he constantly was acting what he had thought. He was so focused. He had decided that he has come here so that he would give his life. He kept saying that, he kept defining it, he kept declaring it and he finished what he came for. So today, let your mind be the mind of Christ. We need re imaging religion christianity is what it is all to do with the relationship that we enjoy with our heavenly father and your heavenly father my heavenly father loves you and he wants to do best for each one of us hallelujah today today make your choice is that your choice make your choice decide define and declare hallelujah i pray over each one of you that you will never fear let faith arise to cease every barrenness gone in the name of jesus abundance the cup will overflow goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Whatever your pastor says, receive it in the name of Jesus and you will see victory. Why? Because the glory goes to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are like a showpiece kept in the showroom where the others would see and know the God you are serving who is ready to serve you. Command him, declare it and you will see those things that you have been waiting it will come in your life hallelujah people will see in your life how is this possible how in pandemic they are flourishing how can that happen how they're not falling sick how how we know the answer how and that's all to do with our mind so just saying my mind is the mind of Christ you need to do what Jesus did you need to walk in victory as Jesus did and he did it so beautifully so smoothly so calmly he can do it now in your life God bless you church love you all thank you so much communion is the remembrance of what the Lord Jesus has done for us on the cross and sharing this with the fellow members of the body of Christ whenever we come together in his name Partaking of the communion is only for the disciples of Jesus. Kindly get your elements of bread and juice, ready for partaking the communion with our church. We will shortly partake together once pastor prays over the elements. Wow! We have come to an important segment of our celebration service. And one of the things that we celebrate is the table that Jesus laid it for us. Celebrating communion marks the story of Jesus, right? Because he completely gave himself so that you and me, we have a better life, have a new start, have a fresh relationship with God. So this is very powerful. Hallelujah. I'm going to read one scripture. Luke chapter 6 and verse 19. Uh, Apostle Donald had touched upon this. Jesus healed them all and all the multitude were seeking to touch him for healing power was all the while going forth from him, curing them all, saving them from a severe illnesses or calamities. I pray even as you partake of the bread and the cup, you will see this becoming real in your life. Hallelujah. It is my prayer for each one of us today. Even as this multitude who, who receive their healing, who receive victory in their life, it may be the same today, even as you partake of the body of Jesus and partake of the cup 
the blood that he shed for us. This is a new covenant that he cut with his people. So every time we gather around bread and cup, Bible says Jesus, he taught his disciples and he told them, do this in remembrance of me. So let's do it in remembrance of what Jesus did for us and receive from him life, life in abundance, nothing less than that. John 10, 10 to become real when you partake and you become one with Jesus because you obey him doing what exactly he said. Lord, we want to thank you, Lord Father, for sending Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us on the cross. Thank you for this emblem. Lord, thank you, Lord Father. And even as we hold it, this element in your in our hand, oh Lord, we remember what you have done for us on the cross. Every sickness, every pain, every rejection, every lack, you nailed it on that cross so that we would live in freedom. And even as we partake of it, oh Lord Father, that we would experience that freedom in our life. We would see that joy. We would see that wholeness in our life. We would see the overflowing abundance in our life, oh Lord, in our children's life in our spouse's life, in our family, the place where we work. I declare, O oh Lord Father, even as we partake of it, as we celebrate what you have done for us, we'll see great victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's partake of it, church. God bless you. Let us worship the Lord through our giving. Please use an envelope to give your tithes, offerings, free will contributions and also mention the date on the envelope. If you desire for the envelope to be collected, contact us on WhatsApp. Kindly note that this is strictly for private circulation only within Saving Grace members in the UAE and overseas. Wow! This is the most happiest occasion because God is looking for a cheerful giver. Amen. You know, Jesus and John, they spoke upside down kingdom economy. If you see John, he says in Luke chapter 3, 3 and 10 to 11, he, he challenges people to give half of their possession to the poor. <laughs> Jesus also spoke so many times that if you want to follow me, then you need to do this, this, this. But the greatest thing, you know, that I enjoy reading is when Jesus visits one of the elite uh, guy in his time, and he has just a little chat with him. He just goes and has lunch with him. And this man, he is convicted. There is a connection between what he heard and how that transformed his life. What did he do? He said that whoever I have cheated, Zacchaeus announced it publicly that I'm ready to give them four times back. Wow. And the response of Jesus was in Luke chapter 19 and verse nine, Jesus declared salvation has come to this house. Amen. That's what it does. Your offering and his tithes, it is blessing, bringing many people back in the kingdom of God. There's great work doing, being done in Philippines. People are receiving Jesus. Ministry is expanding. 
pastors have a vision uh, mighty things are happening in india in nepal we want to start something in kathmandu we want to buy land we build churches so that people will not have to rent places we want to do great and mighty things we want to sow in holy land we want to bless the widows we want to do great and mighty things in 2021 and how is it possible when we give to the lord he gives his best why do we stop ourselves you know poverty is just in the mind if you hoard you think that's going to save you not at all the principle is give jesus said and it shall be given back to you so if you have been faithfully giving i bless you and those who have a desire go ahead and sow in the kingdom of god because it's a great investment thank you lord jesus even as we have brought our lord whatever that you have given us we thank you father lord for blessing us with good health with jobs with with children with families with good health the lord father we are grateful to you and now lord you multiply this two fish and five loaves oh lord father even as it gets distributed it will continue to multiply it will come back it will come back it will come back in basket we will have leftovers in the name of jesus lord i declare this miracle in your people's life right here right now for your glory i bless every hand oh lord father that you keep the devourer away pest away from their household oh lord lord i pray increment bonus and promotion lord those salaries which was made less oh lord i pray and declare it would be increased oh lord more than what they received in 20 or 2019 oh lord father i pray lord father that you will open the floodgates of heaven and bless your people even as they give cheerfully. Lord, I pray and I declare that your kingdom will advance in and through our lives, O oh Lord, through whatever that you have given us, O oh Lord. You are checking on our heart, O oh Lord. And let our heart always, Lord, be a heart, O oh Lord, to give. Lord, I bless, Lord, every person in Jesus' mighty and matchless name, I say, Amen. God bless all my cheerful givers. Thank you. Wow, we have come to the end of the service. Powerful. Amen. Believing involves acting, speaking, and thinking as though you have already received your miracle. So when you emit such thoughts, there's a frequency that is generated and all that you need, you get it now. Amen. And I want to let you know that you and me, we can create our day in advance. How? By thinking, by deciding, by defining, and by declaring it. Amen. And you would be able to create a life of overflowing of blessing intentionally. Do it. You have heard the word. Do it. I know that Holy Spirit has brought a transformation. No more I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be like Hannah. She went back happily. She ate. She came back to worship. And God did miracles in her life. Lord, I bless this congregation, Lord. Even as they have heard your word, I pray and release miracles in each one's life, Lord. Lord, that they will have clarity in their mind what they want. Not two thoughts, Lord. One thing, Lord Father. Lord, they'll define it. The color the dimension, everything, O oh Lord Father. Give them wisdom, O oh Lord. I pray, Lord, that they will declare it. They will choose life, O oh Lord. And choosing life means choosing those things, not waiting for circumstances, situations. 
events to lead us. No, no, Lord, you have taught us through your word that we are young and strong, O oh Lord Father. Hallelujah. By faith, we receive great and mighty things that you have kept for us in the name of Jesus. Lord, do signs, wonders and miracles, O oh Lord, so that your name would be glorified. In Jesus' name, I declare, O oh Lord, abundance, abundance, overflowing, overflowing. In Jesus' name, amen. And now may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us till Jesus comes to receive us. God bless you. Have a blessed day and a blessed week ahead. Send this link to many so that, you know, many would watch this sermon. And remember that you decide what you want. Define what you want and declare what you want to see. God bless you as though it is already there in your life. Thank you. Love you. We are glad that you joined us today. See you again next week. Wishing you a great week ahead. God bless you.